Hi guys, thanks for listening. It's Ian here again, and today we're gonna cover tip eight of our 10 tips to avoiding an incident and being defensive. So uh, tip uh, number eight is all about the environmental limits. And what we mean by that is the environment that we're in. So um, things like the road surface and the weather um, and things like that. Also visibility in terms of things like fog and rain and things and understanding those limits. Now, I, I, can't, I can't give you every piece of information around about this. It's a short video and it's a, just a top tip really, but it's about saying, uh, are we really measuring our risk against what we, um, uh, you know, the environment that we're in? And do we really think about that? And it, it might be the environment in the car, the environment outside the car. So we talk about passengers and um, distractions inside the car and things, but also outside the car in terms of environmental as well. So, you know, when it's particularly cold, have we act, do we actually know how long it's going to take to stop or to steer and where the limits of the vehicle is? And I think I've touched on this previously, understanding how the vehicle limits are going to be affected by the weather is, is very important. How much longer does it take to stop in the wet and things like that? Uh, one of the things that frustrates me is that I think we should really understand how to drive in fog and uh, rain and darkness and uh, we don't always do that. A lot of drivers learn to drive in the summer months, maybe on school holidays or away from university and if they're very quick at learning to drive generally um, they'll, they'll cover that inside the, the summer months. They'll have a little bit of rain maybe uh, but not a great deal and then of course they pass the test and they're going through winter with a lot of rain, darkness, wet, cold and ice and haven't necessarily had the full training within those conditions. So I'm, I'm uh, all for graduated licensing but one of the things that I'd really like to see is to make sure we do cover all the seasons and certainly think about skid car training and things like that and how to control and, and uh, manage the environment. Um, yeah, so uh, that's top tip really, just making sure we take taking into account our environment when we're driving. Uh, it's one of the things that we're not always that good at. We tend to lull into that full sense of security in a nice comfortable warm car on a cold day. Do we really know where the limits are? And for most drivers, they don't necessarily adjust things like spaces and following distances and things like that and their speed for the conditions, absolutely imperative. Oh, and whilst I remember, making sure we can be seen is part of that. And um, although I don't mind automatic headlights, uh, I much prefer having my headlights on most of the time, but we remember automatic headlights do not necessarily come on in foggy conditions where it's very bright or when it's raining necessarily. Some of them do, some of them don't, but for me, we should make sure we're visible in those conditions. And because like in some of the other tips, we're human and um, we are distracted very easily, we're not always engaged with the driving task, um, we, we sometimes fail to do that, but we really, really should make sure we can be seen and make sure um, we can see in those conditions. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Um, uh, uh, please subscribe below and feel free to comment. Uh, my name's Ian. Um, we'll be talking again soon. Um, yeah, so um, we've got uh, our top tips coming up, uh, number nine and number 10. Thanks for listening. Bye.